Master Bravo here to do a review on Alchemy of Souls, episode number 19, where we find out the King Star has the energy of the heavens of the Ice Stone. In episode number 19, we find out that Shaman Choi's brother was on the boat when Boyan was pushed overboard. Shaman Choi's brother seems to think that Boyan is the child of Zhang Gan, Zhang Gang. Would this not make Zhang Uk and Mudogi brothers and sisters half siblings? This is quite shocking. Now remember in this show, Alchemy of Souls, we always go back in time sometimes. Always going back, figuring out more information. In episode 19, they give us more information about what happened to Boyan after she fell off the boat and she got lost and some old lady raised her. So we find out more information in episode number 19. Boyan met an old lady who just lost her granddaughter. After Boyan fell off the boat and she got lost, some old lady came and saved her. And the old lady just lost her granddaughter. So she asked Boyan if she could call her Mudogi, since supposedly she didn't, real, she didn't remember her name, but she doesn't talk very much. Now, Boyan, her heart is pure, and she allowed the old lady to call her Mudogi because she missed her granddaughter, and she wanted to make the old lady happy. Boyan is a pure soul made from the ice stone. Now we're back to the present time. And Mudogi thinks back again when she was in the wind vortex and Boyan was trying to teach her. And what Mudogi learns is that the ice stone is too powerful for any human to use. So Boyan tries to teach her, well, maybe you should not use it. It's something to think about. Master Lee teaches us that the person born in the king star will be able to use the energy of the heavens. This is very important. I'll repeat it again. Master Lee says that the king star, which is John Uk, will be able to use the energy of the heavens. Now this is not always a good thing, says Master Lee, because with great power comes great responsibility, and John Uk may find himself doing something he might not want to do. So Master Lee is out by the lake somewhere, and he's waiting for the star to appear. Master Lee knows exactly what's going to happen. Some people are going to have to leave, some people are going to return, and the star is going to be born. Going back in time, we find out that Jang Gang got the book on how to teach people the alchemy of souls. He actually got that book from the Choi family, or from Shaman Choi. And, of course, Jang Gang used the book. Jang Gang is responsible for this whole mess, and that will, we'll get to that later on at the end of the episode. Okay, we're about ready to talk about John Uk and Mudogi, uh, who are in, trapped inside the ice stone and the barrier. I know it seems like we go back and forth, but you've got to pay attention. This story does go back and forth, and you have to pay attention. But now it's time to tell, talk about the secret. The secret of episode 19 is not only are the young master mages and Mudogi trapped in the ice stone, but the elders on the outside, they are also in the ice stone. You see, it's hard to actually imagine what, how big or how small the ice stone is. It is not easy to know how big or how small it is. They figure out that the fog barrier of the ice stone is not the true size or the shape of the ice stone. So the ice stone is probably a lot, lot bigger than what they think it is. And the, the secret is that the ice stone also encompasses the heavens above. And the heavens are in the ice stone. So while John Uk and Mudogi are trapped in the barrier, they try to figure out how they're going to get out of there. They study the ice stone 
in the library they figure out they don't know how big it is it could be enormous it could be small but what they what John Ook has figured out that he's going to have to give up something to get out of there he's going to have to give his powers up so remember if you use spells in the barrier within the barrier you use you lose your ability to do spells in the future so by John Ook giving up his powers to the ice stone sky he becomes one with the heavens which are inside the ice stone so in giving you receive so nobody wants to really give on the outside or the inside of this barrier but John Ook who is the king star he has the ability and the knowledge to say hey somebody has to give up something to get out of here and he's going to sacrifice himself sacrifice his powers to the sky and by doing that he actually attains his fate and he becomes the king star now before John Ook does his Tansu move and gives his power to the sky he asks the crown prince for a little help. He says, I need your help because John Oak knows that this possibly could fix everything. The ice stone would disappear and everybody would be, um, nobody, it wouldn't be there to fight over. But he realizes that if the stone disappears, there are going to be some people who are going to be resentful. So he asked the crown prince to take credit for what he's about ready to do because they, they're not going to respect John Oak. But if they think that the crown prince is actually the king's star. Well, that makes sense. Everybody will fall for that. So what's going to happen is the crown prince is going to take credit for what John Ook is going to do, and this is going to bide him a little time to figure out what his future is. Okay, so the prince does what John Ook asked him to do, and let's talk about Jang Gang now. Jang Gang comes back and he plays a big part. He stops Shaman Choi from uh, shifting souls again and running. But Jang Gang got a secret letter from Master Lee, and Master Lee told him, it's about time that you go and fess up that most of this is all your fault, and it's time for you to sacrifice your life so these young people can move on. So Jang Gang comes back. He he does so. He, he with his powers, he's able to prevent Shaman Choi, who's in the queen's body, and she's caught. And she's they caught her red-handed, and she wants to shift souls again and run away. But Jang Gang does stop her. But in the process, he's also going to get petrified. His you know he's going to run wild, and but he also has the power to commit suicide too. So he's basically committing suicide. He's confessing his sins in front of the king, and he's just trying to make things right. So the end of Jang Gang is in episode 19. where, But one thing to think about here with Jang Gang disappearing is he disappears like sand and ashes floating away in the sand, much like Boyan. Remember, remember how the young Boyan, when she's in the wind vortex, the young... Boyan, when she floats away, she floats away the same way that Jang Gang floats away. It's something to think about, because they are in the ice stone. All right, let's take a moment and talk about one of the hardest things to understand in this episode is when John Ook gives his power away to the sky, he ends up going up into the heavens, and he knows that he he's lost his powers to cast spell but he in the, in the heavens there and to him it might seem like a dream or an illusion but he sees the ice stone up there in the heavens and remember what master lee told us the person who's born in the king star has the power to use the heavens energy so there he is up in the heavens and he's touching the ice stone and this tells you that he, that he has powers that he's not even aware of yet so jang jang ook does not know it but he is the king star in the heavens, which means, again, that he has the energy of the heavens are within John Ook. And they are, all, they are also within the ice stone. So now that John Ook is the hero, he broke the barrier, he gave his powers to the sky, and the king star is there. And everybody sees it. The barrier is down. All the elders see that the king star has appeared. 
Master Lee's prediction is correct. The king sees it. And of course, the crown prince is going to take credit for it because he's doing a favor to John Uk. Because John Uk doesn't want all this on top of him right now. It's too much for it. At least the crown prince can handle this. And all the elders think it's normal that the crown prince should be the king star. But the crown prince is not the king star. John Uk is the king star. And later episodes will dig deeper into that. Now, Mudogi says goodbye to Soyu, who will be going home soon. And it's a touching little scene. And, you know, but Mudogi's heart is with John Uk. And Mudogi says, why don't we say goodbye by feeling his breath three times like she did once before. Touching scene there with Mudogi, who was actually Naksu, saying goodbye to So Yuk. So Yuk. So here we are at the end of episode number 19. It was a pretty good one. And John Uk finds Mudogi all dressed up in a wedding dress that she tried on for somebody else. And this is the perfect time for John Uk to trap her in the place where he met her. This is the same building that he met her. And he's about ready to propose. But before he proposes, he says, let me ask you if I can, you know, he wants to quit as her student. You know, I do not want to be your student anymore, Mudogi. I want you to marry me. <laughs> and that's what he says. Will you marry me, Mudogi? Mm -hmm.